All right, guys, today we're going to be replacing the driver's side manifold on this 2002 Nissan Xterra. And you know, all these Nissan Xterras have manifold problems. They crunch, they bust, they end up in uh, pieces because they weren't designed very well. And um, I've already replaced, in a video earlier, replaced the uh, passenger side. You can see the nice heat shield down there. Uh, it went on pretty easy. I have some videos on my channel. If you go back, you'll see where I've replaced this. Uh, I give you lots of tips. And also, I have two brand new catalytic converters that I've replaced on both sides. So, the one we're going to replace today is on this side. And I've attempted to weld it, but <laughs> didn't work out too good. Still has a slight exhaust leak. So, we're going to go ahead and replace it. Uh, the great running little truck, and I want to keep it as original as possible. Now, you see, I do have my own bolts. Um, from uh, the uh, catalytic converter that I put in there. The uh, bolts that were there earlier are actually studs. And they're actually something like this right here. This is the old cat, and this is where it connects to the manifold. So if you still have these studs, you may have to uh, fight to get that manifold off. Now, my job should be a lot easier because uh, these studs are gone in my new catalytic converter. I simply just slide the bolts in and out, and it gives me a lot of access to actually connect the Y pipe to the manifold. Uh, the thing is, when you're trying to hook it up uh, with these studs in there, uh, when you're trying to slide the pipe back in, it hits these bolts here. So with these bolts missing, I'm able to actually just slide this back together and slide bolts in. And it works out pretty good. And of course, here's the other one. So if I hold it up here, you can kind of see how those bolts stick out there. So um, if you still have the original bolts in yours, you may have to fight those. If you need to change that manifold, it can be done. So uh, hopefully you won't have to uh, break any bolts. But if you do, then you may have to actually just go ahead and break all your bolts and pull the catalytic converters off and re-drill them and put new bolts in them and all that. So that's hopefully uh, you don't have to go through that. All right, so what I have to do, I need to get some of this air cleaner stuff out of the way. It's a little tight down in here, but it can be uh, done. Uh, a lot of these bolts are uh, pretty easy to get to. Uh, if you have your uh, O2 sensor, if you see it right there, um, I'm actually going to take that out of the way a little bit. It should be pretty easy to take out because this, this here does have brand new O2 sensors in it. Uh, there's a bolt right behind it. It makes it a little bit easier to get that other bolt out But other than that, we'll uh, look at this manifold when we take it out and once we get all this stuff out We can start uh, putting this together All right, so here's the manifold brand new it came with a heat shield Came with a plug here in case you have the EGR tube some of these uh, fit will fit the uh, turbocharged Nissan Xterra's too. I didn't get no gasket material or bolts. That's fine. I'm going to reuse mine but I do get a nice heat shield here. So this is what we're going to be sticking on here. And I picked this up on eBay for about, I don't know, $60 free shipping. Maybe $70. Anywhere, somewhere between $60 and $70. And I think it's a pretty good deal. So this is what we're going to be sticking on here. Not sure if I'm going to do it outside or do it inside the garage since it's getting kind of late. But anyway, we'll start on this and see where we go. All right, so after about 30 minutes or so, everything's disconnected. i got one bolt there left. You can see the ratchet is on it. Uh, the uh, manifold is disconnected from the catalytic converter. I got all the bolts out. These are actually new ones I put in, but I did lose one of those. <laughs> it fell down on the ground. I'll get it in a minute. But there's the gasket, and there's the stud bolts. Sometimes the studs will just come out. That's what you can do about that. So we're just about ready to pull this out of here. I don't know if I can hold this camera. Do this with the other hand. See it's moving around. Just about. Studs coming out too, I believe. Yeah, the whole thing's coming out. That's what's taking long, longer. I 
There we go. I think there we go. We got it. Stud here out. Alright. Alright. But that's okay. There's that one. Now get my ratchet. I might get 20 views out of this video. I don't know if anyone even works on these Xteros anymore. Everybody's into buying new cars and not wanting to work on anything, it seems like. Here comes our manifold. And I should be able to pull it up through here. Uh, maybe I can do it with one hand and camera on the other one. <laughs> uh, let me set the camera down here because I don't want to break anything. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, there it's out. And you can see my attempt to weld it. It didn't work out very well. And this side had places in it. Not unusual for these to do that, but you know, I tried. But anyway, uh, see ya. So now we'll go ahead and grab our new one. Go ahead and stick it in. I did lose a bolt uh, nut. I'll have to find it. It's probably right down there. You know how it is, folks, when you lose nuts and bolts. Let me fish that out of there, then we'll put this in. All right, so we'll go ahead and get these three bolts off the heat shield. We'll put that heat shield on last. Just makes it easier to access those bolts on the bottom. And put this off the side and go ahead and bolt this on. But first, we'll go ahead and match everything up here. Make sure everything looks good. Same manifold. Looks good. And now, we'll go ahead and bolt this baby on. Now, before we put this manifold on, I wanted to give you a tip. You see, I still have some of my stud bolts. That makes it a little bit easier to keep the manifold gasket on there when you're putting this manifold on there. I don't know how well you can see that, but the manifold gasket is right about there. The light, right about there. You can see the manifold gasket. It just makes it easier to guide everything on because you ever try to put a manifold and a gasket on together without any stud bolts in the engine, it makes it kind of difficult. The gasket keeps falling down. But the uh, gasket's in good shape, so that's how we're going to stick this on. All right, all right, so we got our last bolt on. And if you have this plug, you need to put the uh, plug in. Make sure you tighten it down. This is a 14 millimeter plug. Interesting looking thing. But that's what it is. We'll tighten that down. And we're just about done, so all I got to do now is hook up my three bolts there on the manifold going down to the... Uh, catalytic converter and there's the o2 sensor screw it back in and we're done so this job took me about an hour hour and a half just kind of taking my time so just so you know all right guys and there we go it's almost together as you can see all the bolts are in it except one because i lost a nut on the frame you know how it is when you're working on vehicles you always end up losing nuts but there's a nut on the frame i will have to start the vehicle up and roll it up on a ramp to actually get it so the only thing i have to do is pin in my little bolts here and put my o2 sensor in and we're done but uh, i just wanted to show you this is how i did my manifold on this xterra especially on the driver's side it seems like the driver's sides are the ones that are always going bad because i guess this side there's a egr tube over here and maybe a little more flow on the exhaust system on this side but lucky for me i don't have to worry about that egr tube the thing before we wrap this video up with these new aftermarket uh catalytic converters this o2 sensor back here when you use one of these sockets it actually likes to hit this right here your steering uh, buckle there so you uh, actually have to put a thumb wrench on this and actually tighten it down a little bit this is how i get this on and off it works out pretty good and i simply just use something like this and put on there because there's really uh, no room to get a uh, ratchet on top of this because it does hit part of that steering linkage there. All right, we're inside now because it got kind of late, but uh, there is the heat shield. I got it on. I did find the other bolt. Uh, eventually, it took forever, but uh, one thing I wanted to touch on here real quick is you got to take this uh, plug out for your EGR2 before you put this shield on because it gets in the way. You put this shield on first and put the plug back in. And you'll be okay. And I'll have to get my 14 uh, socket and tighten that down. So we're pretty much done. It's all back together. And we'll pull it out here in the light. And we'll start it up and let you listen to it. All right, guys. Brand new day. And we'll pull the vehicle out here in the sunlight. And she's all together. There's the new manifold. No more leaks. 
looks pretty good everything's all back together and now we'll go ahead and start it up here it's uh kind of cold haven't had it really running much today starts right up boom see the temperature is still pretty much cold see it over here So we gotta get the airbag here thing fixed next, which that's not that big of a deal, but uh, you can hear it running, it sounds great. And now you can see it's uh, pretty quiet. Sounds really good. Both manifolds have been replaced and also catalytic converters. So hopefully this will give you some idea how to do all that. The only other thing I got wrong with it, and this goes for a lot of old vehicles, kind of a slight rear main leak, but it's not that big of a deal. A quarter over four or five months, but other than that, I ain't gonna worry about it. It runs great. So uh, there you go. All together. Almost looks factory. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know where you're watching from. Until my next video, guys, I'll see you later.